We're replacing calipers on this vehicle, but now we have to determine if those brake hoses are good. Now, a lot of shops automatically put hoses on when they put calipers on, a very good practice. But sometimes those hoses, um, you know, they might not look too bad. So I do a visual inspection of them outwardly, see if there's leaks, see if there's any cracks, see if there's any tears in the hose itself. But just because they look good on the outside does not mean that they're good on the inside. One real good test to see if there's any restrictions in the hose itself is to actually open the bleeder and see if the vehicle gravity drips. In this case, we're getting drip, drip, drip. It's coming out pretty good. That tells me that that hose um, is, is flowing all the way through. There's no restrictions inside the hose. Now let me show you a hose that had a restriction internally in it. Now this hose we took off a vehicle a while back where the brakes are dragging. Now here's what we found. We, we, you couldn't blow through the hose, that's the first thing. But what I did is I cut the hose in half and I take a, I take a straightened out paper clip, I stick it in the hose, goes all the way through both ways on this side, so this is clear on this one. But then when I go to this side, I take the paper clip it only goes in about an inch and it's solid. It will not go in any farther. Goes in this way, all the way in, but on that other side right there, it goes about a one or two inches in. So I'm thinking it's right around where this crimp is. That's a very good possibility. Rust gets underneath that crimp and it actually crimps that hose even more or it could just be deteriorating inside that hose. Now, a real good example also, you know, here's a good example of a, of a bracket. This bracket, naturally this hose is brand new, but, but on this bracket, when it's been on the vehicle for a few years, the, again, that rust builds up underneath there and just clamps down in that hose and you get a restriction. What'll happen is when you hit the brake pedal, you'll force the brake fluid through it to your new caliper. But then when you take your foot off the brake pedal, the only thing that pushes that piston back in is a square cut seal. It cannot push it past that restriction so the pad stays applied the whole time, wearing down the pad prematurely, overeating the brake pads. In other words, not a good brake job.